thinking about it. What if Hollywood put together an all-star cast of characters to recreate The Last Supper? What would that look like? You'd have Yoda. You'd have Mickey Mouse. The Water Boy. Jack Nicholson. Oh, and uh, Bill Clinton could play Judas. <laughs> and of course, this would all be hosted by none other than Kermit the Frog. So let's go ahead and start. Why not? <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Upper Room. Of course, uh, may I remind you that tonight is the Black Supper. <laughs> our meal tonight is provided by none other than our own Lord and Master, Mr. Uh, Jesus of Nazareth. So please give up for Jesus of Nazareth. Hello, everyone. Welcome. You may be seated. Now, one of you tonight shall betray me. <laughs> Maybe I can just betray you. Right? <laughs> Since much fear and darkness coming from <coughs> that side of the table, <laughs> mean to point, I do not. <laughs> not my fellow disciples. <laughs> I'm not a betrayer. <laughs> a betrayer is someone who sneaks off in the middle of the night to meet with Pharisees to find out a plan to turn over Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. Now I ask you, do I sound like a betrayer? <laughs> I think you know the answer. I think I do too. As I was saying, the man who dips his hand in the bowl with me shall be the betrayer. Excuse me, Jesus, you mind if I have some of that bread right there? <laughs> How great have I become? May I have some of this bread? <laughs> this bread symbolizes my body that is broken for you. Huh? Oh boy, I sure am hungry. Can you pass me some? <laughs> I believe I might as well have some of that uh, bread as well. <laughs> With some butter or some mustard on it. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, this blood is the new covenant that is poured out for the forgiveness of sins. Hey there, Jesus. I was just wondering, could you pass me some of that blood? I'm a little parched. 